well, firstly, uh, give credit to all. I thought the defence were outstanding. Uh, I thought, you know, definitely how they defended the try, out, uh, try line, especially at the end of that first half. I thought, you know, you could see how, how much they showed up for one another. Uh, in terms of us, uh, we come back to that key word again, which is composure. Uh, even though we were 6 0 down at half time, you know, we felt that uh, if we kept his composure and we did what we'd done at the back end of that first half, that, you know, they'd crack. Um, and we'd get some joy, but unfortunately for us, it, uh, it was us that cracked first, and um, you know, credit to all for that one. On, on that sort of word, composure, is, yeah. it, is it moments like in that second half where you've got Hull in their own 20, give away a couple of penalties just from yeah. that pressure, and, and a couple of times they went and scored off the back of us? So yeah, I think, I, think that would, I think that key one for me was well, 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 that one at half time because we just started getting you know, into the groove of the game. and. Um, you know, start of that second half when we give them two penalties, and then I think we switched off at you know a marker and they came straight through us. It just seemed to switch the whole momentum of the game. So yeah, that's that, that's pretty much what I mean by that composure, just having that clinicalness about us and that you know that coolness in under them situations. So um, you know, it, it's a frustrating one, but um, we we were his own worst enemy tonight in that sense. We can't blame anyone but ourselves for you know what. What we've got. On a single standard point as, as well, that, that execution, particularly on sort of last play, I know they, they sort of showed you on, on the screen a couple of times, yeah. you got frustrated with I think it was a, a kick that was just too heavy and went dead. Yeah. Um, I think we lost the ball on, on the first someone offload, off loads, yeah. to, to hold. Is frustration a key word in terms of your, your emotions when you've got players like that? Yeah, I think, I think it wasn't. At the players themselves, it was the uh, the key word we spoke about half time was having that composure. Now they're two examples of not keeping your composure. So as a team, that you know that that's the frustrating part because they're not doing it because um, they're doing it because they're trying to add. You know that's that's the thing with it all. So it's just getting that composure and making sure you're doing it as a team and as a unit. And you know I'm not mocking them for trying it. You know it, it's more the Frustration that we haven't got that composure in his uh, in his attack just yet. As, as you mentioned, there's no lack of effort. Yeah. Is that one big aspect of your performances that you are keeping a hold of? That the effort is, is absolutely still. There? Listen, they're showing up for one another, and they're showing up showing up for me in that sense. Um, <coughs> yeah, effort should be there every week in terms of what we want to be about as a team. Uh, but yeah, I've just said said in the dressing room there. It's it's. Um, it's frustrating, very frustrating because you've just, just said it, the effort's there but it's not enough, you know, we've got to get, get them other ingredients into the pot and make sure they're, uh, you know, they're cooking as well, haven't we? It's probably a question you become become inside of yeah. hearing, but how do you, what, what do you say to them after yeah. these games when the, the loss is still there even though you are seeing positives? Um, it's a good question and, and sometimes you'll reiterate yourself. You know, there's other games where, um, you know, there's some pretty obvious examples. There were a couple of obvious examples today, such as, as that one you said. Well, I think the, the key to it is uh, knowing what to say and when to say it. Uh, you know, you, I probably sound like a broken record to, to our fans and, and people that read the, you know, the media, but... Um, You've just got to be honest with one another, and I mean brutally honest. And then, if people are learning the lessons, then it's up to me as coach to, to make sure I remedy that by team selection. And you know, ultimately, you, that's how you get out of these situations. That you've got to have faith, that pressure on performance in terms of competition for places, which we're now getting back. And then you've got to be able to, you know, to perform when when it matters. And we're just lacking a little bit of a bit of that at the moment in terms of that composure that I keep on going on about. Just on that competition. Back yes. Today, um, he seems to pepper his side a lot when you're in defence, but at the same time, he was. He, he seemed like your main outlet for the last couple of kicks in particular. How do you think he? I thought, yeah, Tom overall had a good game. I know he came up with a defensive misread for their first try, uh, and he was the first one to put his hand up at half time. And he, and he, you know, once he worked it out, he sorted that. I thought, um, you know, to say he'd had a, a prolonged period out, he, he was. He, would, he went okay, did Tom? You know, and as you said, he, he looked dangerous on a few things that he did, and uh, they did send a lot of traffic down that right edge as we knew we were going to be coming. You know, because they have been preferring to attack to their left, um, and apart from that defensive uh, mishap in first half, I, I thought it was pretty solid. Yeah. Um, Will Dagger as well come with a few really, really big players, particularly 
thin defence when yeah. Gordon made breaks. He yeah. seems to really come in on that position as well. Yeah, we we'll just needed some some games, and you know, uh, we needed a, a full back. Thought he had a good game last week, and I thought he, he's. You know, he's shown up today. There's a few areas we, we need to work on with all, but he's willing to put his hand up and, and you know, and then say that. And yeah, he's, he's going in the, the right direction in that sense, but there's still a few tweaks that, that we can work with. with Will, but as I said, he's, um, he's a good guy to work with. He's, he's out on that training field working hard every single week. And just finally, from me, um, Tony Smith was just talking about as a coach, he's been in a similar position to you yeah. on the back of a, a run of losses, how when he went through it, he probably the biggest learning experience of his career. Yeah. Have, have you thought about that much yet in, in terms of how you are handling this? Yeah, listen, I, I've got a, I like to think anyhow that I've got a, a pretty growth mindset and you, there's lessons to be taken in everything in life, you know, whether you're, you're riding high or you're, you're pretty low like we are now and it's just about keeping a, a level head and an objective head and making sure you are learning your lessons. I like to think we are, you know, as I said, we, it's not like it's us versus them in terms of me versus the team. We're all in it together. I take responsibility for it all. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of lessons that we're learning throughout the throughout the uh, weeks. And first person I look at, whether it's good or bad, you know, is myself, and make sure that I've delivered what what the team need and what each individual needs. And um, you know, like anything in life, you you learn a lot of lessons along the way. But I, I wouldn't disagree at all with Tony on that. It's it's a valuable learning curve. Uh, it's frustrating, uh, very frustrating. And you know, if someone said to me you'd be on round twelve without your first win as a as a coach, it, you know, it's not pretty to to hear, is it? But you know, that's the reality, and you've got to meet it head on and and not bury your head in sand and and pretend it's not there. Um, you know, and you've got to make sure that you're learning, learning your lessons to make sure that you can change it. No problem. Do you retain uh, full belief that you can keep with? I mean, yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do think that. You know, the, there's still a hell of a lot of rugby to be played and we've got a four-point gap currently. You know, things could change tomorrow. Um, but still four points to claw back. Um, you know, if we can get them a couple of wins on the board and start putting a bit of pressure on them teams around us, you know, who knows what can happen. So, yeah, I've still got full belief that that we can. Um, you know, I don't know that sounds probably... Uh, different for a few people but yeah we we do think that you know we know we've got to get better um we can't keep on saying the same things and expecting a different outcome but yeah the belief's still there for sure after given the three months we've had in super league yeah it would be nice to have a little break next week get into the challenge cup and maybe get a bit of momentum that way yeah uh listen challenge cup's a prestigious competition and, and we want to give it the respect it deserves uh, there'll be a couple of lads that we'll have to uh, freshen up that's been playing massive minutes because for obvious reasons we've got to make sure that they're ready for the league but um, you know if we're in a bit of a, a different situation we'd probably be sat here having a different conversation but yeah we'll, we'll every game is important that we want to pick up some momentum somehow but at the same time we've got to be uh, smart in how we, we manage certain members of the squad that's played hell of a lot of rugby and you know are pretty uh, busted up I think uh, Luke Gale mentioned on Sky that he's got a bit of a groin niggle. Can you say anything about that? Well, yeah, uh, Luke could have played today if selected. You know, he just tightened up a bit. Um, it was nothing that ruled him out of the game or anything like that. But uh, I thought Morgan Smith had a really good game last week. And um, I've always spoke about being honest with the players and picking on performance. And it would have been a tough call on Morgan not to not to play him after he did exactly what I asked of him against Warrington. So that, that, that was the only reason... Uh, Luke didn't feature today. Yeah, well, you mentioned you're gonna make some changes next week. Is yeah. Luke Gale potentially coming for his debut then. Uh, yeah, I believe I'll have to. Oh, he's I'll yeah, he's cup tied yeah. through uh, through Keefley, but uh, yeah, Gale is uh, fit and available for selection. And as I said the other day, you Luke Gale's got a big part to play for us in this uh, second half of the year. No problem. Do you think perhaps it's uh, <coughs> a bigger task than you first had? Uh, no, no, I knew it was going to be a, a big one. It's a good question, and it's one that you know I get asked regularly. It's, we're in that vicious cycle, and we have been since uh, I think 2018. What last time we tasted a bit of playoff success, wasn't it? And with them being hovering around them and bottom spots, and um, we knew 
it's not only uh, it's the whole culture that needs a, a change, you know, so that we can break that five year cycle that we've been in. And you could argue, you know, a twenty year cycle barring odd season here and there. You know, things are happening off the field. Uh, we've got to make sure that things happen on the field too, you know, and that's my job. So as a club, uh, we know we need to get better. I know I need to get better. Uh, the team know they need to get better, and then we've got to. Uh, set certain standards, make sure we adhere to them. And if people uh, either don't want to adhere to them or can't, then you know that's um, that's where you make some changes and make sure you get people in that can. Are there any injury concerns from tonight? Yeah, we got a couple. Um, uh, Lange did his uh, ankle in that first half when he went down. He, he looks pretty sore, uh, so I'm not sure what he's going to be like yet. He'll get assessed in the morning. Uh, Jay Pitts again, he, he did his ankle. So he's um, he's gonna have a look in the morning, and then Matty Asher's got a, a a compound fracture of his finger. Uh, that's why he stayed down, and he just shows you what some of the lads are playing through. He just popped it back in, and he's on his way to hospital now to get it reset. Uh, so I'm not sure. Knowing Tash, will put his hand up and say, "Yeah, put me straight back in." Um, and then there's a, there's a few bumps and bruises after that, but uh, you know that that's that's not the reason we lost tonight. It's it's just part and parcel of sport at this level, isn't it?